What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Hot Seat. <laughs> and I think this is the worst hot seat I have done so far. And I got a host of guys on the hot seat tonight. I mean a host of them, okay? The first guy on the hot seat tonight, he hasn't been on the hot seat this whole damn season. Right, I've been giving him credit. He was on the hot seat maybe three or four times last season. But let's all put our hands together and welcome for the first time of the 2022 season, Pete Golden to the hot seat. <laughs> yes, Pete Golden is on the hot seat tonight. And the reason why Pete Golden is on the hot seat tonight is because this damn Pete Golden defense gave up 567 yards. They let Hen and Hooker throw 385 yards and five touchdowns of this Pete Golden defense. And guess what? All five touchdowns was to the same receiver. And that same receiver beat the same safety on like, for the five touchdowns. I'll put it that way. If it wasn't all five touchdowns, being the same damn safety. It wasn't broke, so they didn't mess with it. They kept going back to it. And I'm not talking about on um, 15 or 20 yard passes. No, 40, 50, 60 yard passes. Killing them, killing them. And guess what? If you want to look at it, Hen and Hooker should have had two more long passes. He just overthrew the guys, if, if you want to put it that way. So it should have been over 600 yards passing. He just overthrew them. He missed them. So, yes, Pete Golden is on the hot seat. And Pete Golden also gave his defense, also gave up 182 yards rushing unheard of against the Alabama, basically, football team, our Alabama defense. 182 yards rushing. That's a damn shame, man. That's a damn shame. And guess what? Pete Golden made no in-game adjustments, made no halftime adjustments. The same thing that was going on in the first half was going on in the second half. A damn shame. A damn shame. Oh, my damn goodness, Pete Golden. This this is your worst performance of the season. Probably the worst performance of your tenure as an offense, as a defensive coordinator. Because it was fucking terrible. It was terrible. All right. Just get that out of the way. Pete Golden, your ass on the damn hot seat tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Next up on the hot seat, DeMarco Hellams. The safety I'm talking about. Number two. I mean, what the hell was you doing tonight? You was moving in slow motion. This guy, Wyatt, this dude was running by you all night long. You should have been positioned deeper. God damn. You, 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 I mean, if you, just do it, just to get a pass interference. It's only 15 yards. But you giving up 45, 50, 60, 70 damn yards. Oh, man, man. It, it ain't on the cornerbacks either. It's not on the cornerbacks. It's on you, DeMarco Helms. You, you supposed to pick the guy up. It's like you don't know what the hell you was doing out there tonight. You, DeMarco Helms. Yes. You on the hot seat, too. Your, matter of fact, your ass should have been on the bench. Your ass should have been on the damn bench. After that third touchdown, your ass should have been on the damn bench. You shouldn't have seen the field the second half. Give somebody else a damn chance, Pete Golden. You see this guy ain't doing a damn thing. If he would have went down, you'd have had to put somebody in there. I don't give a damn about he a senior or the, or the experience right now. You see that he ain't working. So it ain't working out for you with him. 
not tonight. You could put them back, take them out tonight, put them back in there next week or some bullshit. But DeMarco Helms, you was damn hot ass garbage tonight. I mean hot garbage. All right. So, yes, you on the hot seat, too. Next guy I got on the hot seat, part of that damn secondary, too. And this guy, well, just like DeMarco Helms, has never been on the hot seat. And this guy was playing lights out. His freshman, sophomore, and junior season. He came back for a senior season. He's a safety, too. Welcome to the hot seat, Jordan Battle. He... <laughs> You must be a damn ghost now, Jordan Battle, because I ain't seen your ass. I mean, all season. <laughs> I ain't seen you. You, you I, I think uh, you making a damn business decision. You just out there taking up space. You taking the spotlight off of somebody else. Because you ain't doing nothing. You came back for your senior season. And in my opinion, you haven't helped this team or this defense in no way possible. You're taking up space, fucking, fucking preventing somebody else from having a chance at doing what they love, which is playing football on Saturdays. That's what you're doing, Jordan Battle. Hell, did you even make a tackle tonight? <laughs> I mean, I want to know. I ain't seen you. I ain't seen you. <laughs> Shit. Hell if you I don't think I ain't matter of fact, I ain't seen you since the SEC championship when you got that pick six. I ain't seen you since then, Jordan Battle. Like like I said about damn Kayla Ringo the other, other last night. On my live. I guess Jordan Battle still running too. He 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 done took Forrest Gump play. Cause his ass running all over the country either. He, he well, he running all over the country too, because uh, he damn sure ain't playing no football. Like I said, he got that pick six last in the SEC championship game last year, ran it till in the end zone. His ass still running. Forrest Gump two point running across the damn country. So, Jordan Battle, welcome to the hot seat. It is what it is. The next guy, I don't even know this guy's name. I don't even know his name. But, yes, he played with my Alabama Crimson Tide. He's a special teams player, number 34. He has got to be the dumbest guy on the damn team. And his ass, his name should, been in the, should have been in the transfer portal as soon as he got to the damn sidelines. On the damn punt. The first stop we got of the game after they scored three damn touchdowns, we finally get a stop, and his ass go down there and fuck up the damn punt. When the daggone punt returner waves everybody off from the damn punt, he run his ass down there and touch the ball anyway. Tennessee jump on it, another score. I don't even know his name, but he got to be the dumbest guy that ever played damn football. That's 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 just as a football player fan, anybody associated with football, that's just common knowledge. They wave you off, don't fucking get near the damn ball. How stupid can you go? I mean, how stupid can you be? <laughs> okay, let me just try to jump on the ball. Let me just try to pick it up, you damn clown. That cost us too. That also cost us. And I'm still pissed off about that. And I ain't over that. I'm over the game, but that that one play, I'm not over it. Because that's just damn stupid. Nick Saban about to have a heart attack over there. But anyway, next up, on the hot seat. I never thought I'd put this guy on the hot seat. Never. Never. Like I told you, I got a whole host of damn people on the hot seat. But this is, I got one more after this guy. But anyway. The next guy on the hot seat is my Alabama Crimson Tide's kicker, Will Riker. This guy has been money for us. Money. But the last two games, I don't know what's going on with him. 
Maybe something going on in his damn personal life. His girlfriend and dumped him or some bullshit that he can't can't kick field goals no damn more. I mean, damn. I mean, he. Oh Jesus, man. He missed two field goals last week. That basically would have sealed the game for us. It wouldn't have came down to the last play if he'd have made those two field goals. And then tonight, basically the game-winning field goal, he missed it. He missed it. Matter of fact, I got two more guys out there. This guy. He, he missed it. The game-winning field goal. That's three missed field goals in two games. This one could have won us the game. The two last week he missed would have gave us a comfortable lead. And that takes the end of the game when it came down to the last play. So, with those two missed field, three missed field goals, Will Rocker, you find yourself on the hot seat. <laughs> Next person I got on the hot seat, another Alabama Crimson Tide. Our offensive coordinator, Bill O'Brien. Now, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn that Alabama put up 569 yards. Bryce Young threw for 455, and we rushed for 113. Because on that, this is the reason why I'm putting Bill O'Brien on the hot seat. That last drive, we get like to the 35-yard line, maybe 37-yard line. Okay, first and 10, throwing, throwing, throwing. You know they blitzing. You know they blitz. You see that they blitz it. Why not call, call the screen? Now, one, now I got to give it one of those plays was just a bad throw by Bryce. But okay, I, I give you that. But Bill, when are you going to pull a screen out of your pocket? That would have nullified that. That would have beat that damn blitz. Screen to Jameer Gills. That would have beat the blitz. But no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to blitz? Maybe do a curl right out the backfield with, 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 with Jameer Gibbs. You want to blitz? Hey, put the tight end right where they blitzing from. That's it. It's too easy. It ain't chip football when it comes to calling knee plays. In my opinion, it ain't chess. It's checkers. It's too easy. Bill O'Brien, you make it harder than what it needs to be. If it weren't for Bryce Young, <laughs> we would have been in a world of hurt tonight. A world of hurt. And Bryce Young came and played his ass off. Played his ass off. It was sad. It was sad to see how Bryce was playing. And that defense couldn't seal it up. We or Riker couldn't seal it up. But on that drive there, Bill O'Brien, after we got to the 35, 37, whatever it was, oh my, I am sure we could have got at least five more yards to at least try to help Will Riker out. You know, it, it, it's sad, man. It's sad. But anyway, I also like to say uh, about Pete Golden, Will Anderson, Dallas Turner, Chris Braswell was nullified tonight, non factor. Okay, but Pete Golden, where was the blitzes? I didn't see not a one. Where was the damn blitz? Where was the stunts? How about trying to send? One more player than what they got to block. If it's five down linemen, the center, the guard, the two guards, and the two down tackles. Okay. Center corner blitz. Let a linebacker blitz. Because I ain't seen I ain't seen no blitzes all night. So that's just another thing I want to mention with Pete Golden. Okay. I done named all those guys. I got I got Pete Golden. Bill O'Brien, DeMarco Hellams, Jordan Battle, that damn 34, and even the kicker wheel rack. 
and the next person I got on the hot seat. This guy's responsible for all of this. So I got to do it, and I hate to do it. But I'm putting my head coach, Nick Saban, on the damn hot seat. I know he ain't on no hot seat for, for Alabama and nobody else. This is just one loss. But I'm just putting him on my hot seat. Mine. I know nobody else ain't got Nick Saban on the hot seat. I'm not calling for Nick Saban's head. Nothing. It's just for this one game. That is it. Well, not just this one game, but other last week, you know, Texas A&M, Texas, all this. But anyway, it's just coming to a head. But in no way, shape, or form, I'm calling for Nick Saban's head because I love the man. He's brought great joy. He's the greatest college football coach of all time. So I cannot ever call for Nick Saban's head just for this one night, okay? Nick Saban is on the hot seat. You know why I'm putting him on the hot seat? Because Nick Saban, you got you, you got to straighten your goddamn back up, and you got to take Bill O'Brien aside, Pete Golden aside, and tell him either you shit, get your shit together, or you getting the hell out of Tuscaloosa. That's what you need to do. Them damn players, you ain't doing your job. We snatching your ass out the game. That's it. That's it. You the head coach. You the damn engine of this damn train. And don't nothing run without you. So you straighten your damn back up. Get a goddamn spine. And get in Pete Golden and, and Bill O'Brien ass during the game. I'm sure you've seen all that shit that was going on tonight in that secondary. Get on their ass. These goddamn penalties. Take their ass out the game. I guarantee you they'll stop them damn penalties then. Take their ass out the game. You got to show them that you ain't going to have this shit. You ain't going to continue to take this shit. We had, what, 15 penalties against Texas? 17 penalties tonight. You, that's not winning football. And Nick Saban, you always talk about what we have to do to, to play winning football. That's not winning football. Mm, 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 mm. But I ain't going to get on Saban too much because guess what? Everybody, everybody got to be responsible for their own damn actions. But Nick Saban, we can't have this no more if we expect to even make it to the SEC championship. We cannot have this shit anymore. So, I'm done. I'm done with this hot seat for the night. I done went on long a damn enough. But like I said, I had to put a host of guys from my Alabama Crimson Tide on the damn hot seat. And another goddamn thing. One more damn thing. Fucking Bill O'Brien and Nick Saban. We got five running backs. We can use them, you know. Five of them, and all of them are capable. Okay, we can use those guys. Let's try doing that. So, all I got to say for right now, Pete Golden, Bill O'Brien, DeMarco Hellams, Jordan Battle, Will Riker, and whatever your name is, number 34, and head coach Nick Saban, you are on the hot seat. Roll damn tide.